How's it going guys? My name is Rob. Welcome to this show. Today we're going to be talking about the biggest event that occurred on Game of Thrones. I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan and honestly I have not seen any other video like this out on the web that are very precise in the foreshadowing done in the show, not the books but the TV show. I've seen many fan theories out on the internet, but surprisingly, I've never stumbled across a video that showcased very important dialogue in the show that predicted the events to come. We're gonna get right to it. Spoiler alert, if you're not caught up with the show, do not watch this. Jon Snow's death was probably the biggest death, uh, you know, ending off season five. And everybody's worried, is he gonna come back? What happens? I'm here to tell you I saw this death coming for a very long time. I saw Jon Snow's death coming before season five even began. Now many of you say, you know, pish posh, what does Rob know? Let me tell you how I know. Now before I go into that, let me just tell you, George R. R. Martin himself stated that if you were to pick up certain lines and certain dialogue that, you know, the characters say throughout the show, you would know, you know, in the long run where each character goes. So ever since I heard that, I thought, could I pick up on those lines? So what I did was I was all caught up with the show back in season four and I went back to season one and watched it from the very beginning with my friends. It wasn't until I actually watched the show from the beginning, episode by episode, for the third time when I finally started to pick up on what George R. R. Martin was talking about. There were lines said in season one that as soon as I heard it, I went, had I known that line, I would have known what happened in season three. But here's the thing. You would never know unless you rewatched it. When you watch the episodes coming, you know, very new to you, you don't really pick up on these lines because they're very insignificant. They seem like they're not important at all. It's usually minor characters or major characters talking with other minor characters about dialogue you don't think are important because, you know, it's some random insignificant story. But I'm here to tell you that's probably the most important dialogue that occurs in those scenes. Now let's jump right to the spoiler. I've looked around Reddit, I've looked around YouTube, I looked around every Facebook article. From now on, I only trust myself, and for you guys, trust this source. Because apparently, my friend Tyler and I predicted Jon Snow's death. People even ask me, uh, what do you think is gonna happen? I'm saying, you know, Jon Snow's gonna die. I'm not sure if it's gonna be in season five. It could be towards the end, but he has to die. And a lot of people looked at me like, what? No, how do you know, blah, blah. I didn't want to spoil anything, but you know, deep down, I would bet my money that this was going to happen back in season four. Here's the spoiler, drum roll please. Episode six of season two. Season two, episode six predicted, I shouldn't say predicted, it's cleverly written in episode six in season two that Jon Snow will die. As soon as I caught up on George R. R. Martin's foreshadowing, I started picking up on certain lines going, that's gonna happen. The show's done very cleverly. For example, when Bran was asleep in a coma for a long time, and that episode ended where Ned Stark had to kill the wolf they said, you know, bit Joffrey, and when he goes with the knife, as soon as he killed the wolf, Bran woke up. So that implies that he could have warped into that wolf this whole time, but you would have never known that if you were watching it for the first time. It was only when I rewatched it going, oh, that's clever. And even back in season one, episode one or two, I think it was, where Tyrion said, you know, all dwarves are bastards in their father's eye. That's a very important line. They do not throw random dialogue out there to fill in, you know, film time. But we'll get to that later. So there are many dialogue scenes I picked up on going, oh my gosh, he just said it right there. You know, women use poison or whatever events that occur later on in the seasons. They were said all in the past. So season two, episode six, as John and Corn Halfhand were walking beyond the wall in the snow, Corn Halfhand specifically talks about Jon Snow dying. Corn Halfhand states, the watch has given you a great gift and you have only one thing to give it in return. He says, your life. Jon Snow replies and says, I will gladly give my life for the watch. Corn Halfhand pulls him close after that and says, I don't want you to be glad about it. Some of you might say, oh, uh, this is maybe a coincidence. This is no coincidence. This is dialogue and this is how the show's written. And this is what George R. Martin was talking about, about if you picked up on certain lines, you would know where all the characters in the show are going. This one even being more so obvious because while Jon Snow is getting stabbed at the end of season five, everybody walks up to him and says the line for the watch. Jon Snow said, he would gladly give his life for the watch. Horn Hefan says, you should be glad about it. As soon as I was re-watching the series and I stumbled across that line, I look over to my friend who's watching it for the first time, absolutely clueless, you know, he's just kind of 
picking up as he goes along or whatever. I'm watching the show on a completely different perspective. I was watching the show now specifically because I already know what's going to happen to pick up on these certain lines. So as soon as I heard that, I wrote it on my phone, dated, you know, months and months back that in season two, episode six, John says this. So my prediction was he will, I mean, it wasn't even a prediction. It was nearly a fact. I would bet my life, my life, I would bet my money that Jon Snow was going to die. There you have it. You're welcome. Season two, episode six predicted something season five at the end of season five even. And there's a lot of these that occur. There is a lot of it that happens in the show. I encourage you guys to, you know, get a friend uh, into watching Game of Thrones and starting from the beginning with them. But this time, watch it closely for those important lines.